Good evening everyone, it's Charlene Francois from Chalk Hill Community Radio. The time is 6.45pm and today is Wednesday the 15th of May. Now I'm in the studio and before I start talking guys, I always like to initiate my radio shows with We woke up today everyone, can I get an amen? <laughs> Today in the studio, I have another amazing artist, very talented and quite unique, you know, it's a little style going on. And he goes by the name of TT Miley. What's happening? What's going on? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Good. Sun shining. It's a beautiful day to have a It's a lovely day. It's It's nice. Lovely. So how was your journey here? Yeah, it's okay. Easy. You're yeah. from Basildon, right? Yeah, I'm from Basildon, Essex. Wow. So, How long yeah. have you lived there? All my life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay. It's alright, it's alright. So how do you find this lovely area of North West London? Yeah, it's nice. First time really I've been here properly, but, okay. but yeah, man, it's, it's cool. It's nice. cool. So what I'm going to do, TT Marley, I'm going to start off just by reading a bit of your bio, okay? And yeah, we'll take it from there. My interviews are very laid back. I like to just chill, you know, make my guests feel nice and welcome. And it's just all about just, yeah, being laid back and, you know, just going with the flow. Yeah, so, man. Meet TT Marley, the captivating melodic rap sensation from Essex. TT Marley is a dynamic recording artist and gifted songwriter, making waves with his unique melodic rap tracks. With a remarkable presence on digital streaming platforms, He's already carved his path to success with four singles and a remarkable EP. Drawing inspiration from melodic rap icons like, is it Nate? Nate Smalls, yeah. Nate Smalls, D-Block, Europe and Gunna, T.T. Marley's styles blend melodic finesse with raw lyrical prowess, painting vivid images of his real life experiences against wavy instrumentals. His artistry resonates with audiences worldwide. Fearlessly exploring diverse musical horizons, T.T. Marley experiments with beats from R&B and old school rap, adding depth to his catalogue and keeping listeners eager for what's next. T.T. Marley's journey is one to watch. Join the movement and witness the rise of his extraordinary talent as he leaves an indelible legacy in the world of music. <laughs> so please, um, Titi Mali, tell me, how did you get into music? So, yeah, it's a funny one. It's like, it's like, it's like your average story, really. Like, obviously, me and my friends, we used to just sit down and, and freestyle to beats and stuff. And then one of my friends was like, yeah, like, you're, you're good at this, isn't it? So... Yeah, I kind of just went off that and I thought, yeah, I'm going to actually enjoy it as well. So I started learning how to engineer, learning how to record myself mm-hmm. and bought the equipment and whatever I could buy myself, scrape the money together, or put some, right. bought some equipment and then, yeah, just started recording myself. For how many years have you been doing it for? Mm, I've been taking it serious for like two years now. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is recently? Yeah, recent really, but then I've, I've probably been... Recording, well, recording myself and met like writing bars since I was like 15, 16. Yeah. I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And have you got any family or friends, people who inspired you? Like, is that how you got into music? No, I haven't got no family that do it. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's more of a natural thing that just, mm. I just enjoy it in it. And yeah. so I just thought, yeah, let me, let me take a crack at it. Basically, okay. yeah. Okay. So let's speak about your, is it your recent? Um, you got yeah, called recently. Climate? Yeah, Climate it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit more about that song. Why did you call it that? So, the song, my song Climate, it's, it's more... Mm, so, it's about, it's about basically a girl, like, she's getting on your case and whatnot, and, and it's more of a thing where it's like, I'm trying to do my thing, and she wants me to be with her all the time, and it's one of them. So, I try to make it a little bit relatable to people and things, and I just called it Climate because... It's sort of like we're raising the climate, like we're trying to get bigger and better mm-hmm. while maybe you have a girl on the side and she's trying to... What are you trying to say about girls? Sorry, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Not bring you down, but... It's not be a girl, yeah. like, it's be like, what are you saying? Like, nah, it's nothing like that, but it's just one of them, like, 
obviously I just wanted to make it relatable yeah. obviously a lot of people get girls and they mm -hmm. might bring them down they might not let them do what they want to do yeah, and yeah. things so you, you said women are can be a distraction mm, yeah it can be a distraction but yeah it's one of them like level with balance lovely yeah yeah 100% that's nice no I like that you know how you make your music um, realistic and relatable yeah I try it yeah yeah um, so like, having listened to some of your music it reminds me of a bit of like more American artists yeah like, do you yeah. have any American artists who inspire you I'd say yeah I'd say I'm inspired by the US wave sort of thing um, but obviously the U I'm from the UK so I grew up in UK music and stuff but just feel like wanting to be a bit different and yeah, whatnot and try my own thing. Mm -hmm. And um, this is just the, the sound that naturally comes to me, so yeah, yeah. that's what I'm trying to do, you know? No, I see you're working hard and also like your videographer does an amazing job as well. Yeah, he's very because good. He Shout out. Quality. Who's that then? Shout out Scorpio Films. Scorpio Films? He, he's, my, he's my camera guy. He's, he's the GOAT. He's very good. Love that, yeah, love yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and also, so as an artist, because my show is entitled The Health, Talent and Fashion Show. Yeah. So. As an artist, please tell me what you do in terms of your health. So let's focus on the health side of things, okay? okay? Um, because obviously you've got mental health in this world, physical health. Yeah. Um, how are you able to get up in the morning, do what you've got to do, whether it's going to work, going to the studio, but taking um, you know um, into consideration your mental health and your physical health? What do you do? So I'd say I try and do things that make me happy in it. So whether that's obviously I'll go to the gym and I do them sort of things to to um, maybe I don't even know like maybe like for the mental side of things I'd say I'll go to the gym. Obviously you want to nice look like, look nice and yeah, stuff, yeah. but but it's good mentally though I can't lie. But um, but realistically the, the music makes me happy, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Do you know what I mean? Whether any situation I'm still gonna be making music, yeah. you know. So yeah, men, mental health wise that. Like, it's just try and do things that make you happy. Try not to go down the route of things that not not gonna do anything for you and whatnot. Just do what you want to do, basically. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, food wise, have you got a healthy diet? Mm, healthy diet. <laughs> yeah, sixty. Mm, no, nah, maybe fifty-fifty. But mm -hmm. yeah, I try. I try to be healthy. What's that food I eat? That's a hard question. You know, I just mix. I eat a lot of chicken and rice. Mm -hmm. I can't lie, a lot of chicken and rice. But I try and stay healthy. Maybe on the weekend I might deteriorate a little bit. But yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's just I try. I try. Yeah, <laughs> I so try. Music is more your therapy. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. Um, and how about your family? Tell me where you're from. I know you said uh, Trinidad. And yeah. Who so who in your family is from there? So my my dad's black. My mum's white. Mm -hmm. White English. Um, and my grandma come over from Trinidad in the eighties. Mm -hmm. And my dad was born here. So yeah, I'm half Trini really, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's that's my ethnicity basically. Yeah, you yeah. Race it. yeah, 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 yeah man. Doubles, royalty. Yeah, lovely. yeah, man, love it, love it. That's nice, that's nice. Um, what about and you know, let's talk about your talent now. So obviously, you told me how long you've been doing your music for. Um, have you got any like upcoming shows? Do you do many shows? Yeah, so I perform maybe I'd say around six times, five, six times now. Um, one in Birmingham, a few local, and then a few in London. Mm -hmm. I might have a show in July. That's really that's just being confirmed now. Okay. Um, Where would that be, or can you not say it? Mm, South End, I think, okay. in Essex. Yeah. I think it's going to be in South End, but yeah, it's still to be confirmed. So I'm not too sure yet. Lovely. But yeah, I I enjoy performing, mm -hmm. and it's good while I'm not a big massive artist. It's it's good to get the experience Definitely. of just getting in front of people and being confident and actually mm -hmm. doing your thing in front of people. You know. Because you asked me earlier, you said um, what is you asked me what my dream was, yeah, and um, I was explaining that I feel like I'm living the dream. I honestly do. <laughs> I feel like I have a nice balance. I wouldn't want to be a model full time. I don't think or a TV presenter full time because I believe in life. It's nice to have your balance. Like don't do too much of one thing, you know. And I, I enjoy. Yeah, I work in a beautiful school. I, I love that. And maybe I would like to maybe cut down that hours a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, just so I can focus more on my modeling and I'm not so tired. But I can't complain. I, I'm, I'm very grateful. I have a job. I enjoy it. That's the main thing. You know, so that's my dream. I feel like I'm living the dream. I'm very grateful. What about your dream? So my dream 
it's obviously for my music to get a lot bigger than what it is and and go through the stages of success through music wise um but i want to i want to perform on stage with thousands of people that's yeah. that's 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 what i look for, forward to you know you so. say it again Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to manifest it. Yeah, no, I manifest it. Oh, yeah, I, I, do, I do, I do, I do. But yeah, I will. I know I will. Yes, Not I want to. Exactly, I, I will. will perform in front of thousands of people, yes, man. Yes, you will. Hundred percent. Definitely. See, that's all it is, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, mean it, believe it. Hundred percent. You got to write these things down as well. Definitely. Do Trust that. me. Yeah, I do it a lot. Just write down any goals that you have. Mm -hmm. Um. Even at the start of this year, I wrote, I wrote down a few things that I wanted to achieve, and I've done it already. You know, See, it's not even been a year, so. Vision boards, aren't they? Yeah, 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 hundred yeah. percent. They work, man, because you you see it and you think, yeah, I'm gonna get it. You know, yeah. so. Hundred percent. Yeah, man. Definitely, I love that. Um, and, and, and that's all a part of mental health as well. You know, just get, get, getting up in the morning, and when you're seeing your vision board, it's it's something to look forward to. Something that makes you happy, that uplifts you, and you know 100%. you have purpose. Yeah, yeah 100%. Up, but whatever you're doing in terms of making your money, you know, you you know, soon you're you're going to be living your dream. Yeah, even if it takes a while for for whatever you want to happen to happen, just you, you, yeah. just wait, work hard, and it will come. Don't Definitely. worry. Definitely. Would you give that advice to any aspiring artists? What, yeah. What would you advise them? Um, to an aspiring artist, I'd just say that be consistent. Um, I know I'm not that consistent, I try to be, but be consistent, do, be authentic, so do what you, do what you want to do in it, mm -hmm. don't try to sound like anyone else, try and just sound like you, um, I'd say like look up to rappers and whoever you want to look up to, but don't, don't really like, that's, that's what I want to be, because mm -hmm. everyone has their own path, you know, yeah. so I think just do what you want to do, and um, yeah, that's it really. Lovely. Where is your camera? Where is TT T T Marley's camera? I know that's my camera. Oh, that's... But your camera is where, sorry? The one in the middle. Okay. Oh, sorry. So just to let you know, that's your camera right there. Yeah. That's my camera. Give it a smile, come on. <laughs> so please tell me about your workplace. Um, you said you work for a record in a record label show. Yeah, so I've started, I've started um, looking... So basically, I want to broaden my my skills in music mm. um, and I've looked into doing like the business side of things um, just for, so I can help myself and I can help others around me. Um, it's a great start to work there though. Well yeah that's it so I've, I've tried I've got a spot at a record label at the moment um, just working normal hours and stuff mm -hmm. but it's teaching me a lot and um, I can transfer them skills to other people or I can even provide services now for other people that could potentially make me money and whatnot and managing and things so so yeah it's just it's just look forward to going there though yeah 100 percent because it's all learning it's all learning so that's why i wanted to do it you know just just learn everything everything you do you got to learn 100 percent you got to learn about everything yeah and fashion tell me you used to do modeling right a little bit okay um would you do it again i think you should be look at look at this guy look at him do you think guys should be able nah, to nah, Why nah, not? Nah, nah. I'm too focused on my music, innit? I think. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. But music, if you're an artist, I guess you, you are kind of a model as well. Mm, think about it. Yeah. You're going to be, you know, you're in videos, you're going to need a photographer, you're going to be posing, you're going to get brands approaching you saying, can you. Yeah, of course, know? I suppose it all intertwines, innit? It does. But, um, yes. but yeah, the fashion thing, mm -hmm. I love me some fashion, I can't lie. I love it just. Anything, anything a bit different, or if yeah, it, yeah. someone's creating something that's a bit different, or mm. even like you know, I think a lot of people try and spend a lot of money on fashion. I don't think you have to, you know. No, yeah. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can spend a hundred pounds and still look very, yeah, very definitely. good. You know. Would you go to a charity shop? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because you know nowadays it's all about a sustainable um, fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't realise, right? And if you're actually like a very conscious person, you actually care about the land, the motherland, you know, especially, beautiful continent of Africa. A lot of waste ends up there and ends up in on landfill there. Mm. So when we're, you know, buying things, we really have to be mindful. So if you're even a, a model and you could make clothes with a, you know, sewing machine, or you go to um, a charity shop, you can buy clothes there for cheap. You know, when you're finished with certain things, you give it to your friends. It's nothing to be ashamed of, guys. Because when we are throwing things away, it ends up on a beautiful, you know, planet 
we and we're just like polluting the earth basically you know we literally polluting the earth so we have to be so mindful things like even when it comes to um, buying food gardening trying you know grow your own crops guys we have to start thinking like this man it's really important yeah, so i like that you know your mindset that you know like i even complimented your trainers but i really like your trainers you said they're from zara yeah they're from zara they're nothing special man, you know your mat is matching your jumper but i believe in that it's not really that's about gucci and versace guys no, man. if you are a designer okay and you want models to promote your things, whether, you know, because I go to a lot of events, a lot of events, and a lot of the time I need clothes. Hello, your girl. Come on, I'm here, I'm guys. Me. It's fine. I'm me as well. <laughs> you're a music artist, you always doing music videos, going to events. If you are a designer, you want to get your stuff out there, this is the place you need to contact. Yeah, 100%. Okay, contact myself, contact Titi Marley. That'd be nice. Let's go, yeah, 100%. Yes. <laughs> So, um, so have you got any new and more music coming out soon? So I've got nothing scheduled at the moment. Um, I want to bring something out for summer. Okay. I've got I've got a lot of songs recorded, so it's just about picking what's right yeah, at yeah. the right time, at the right moment, and things. So, but yeah, it should be one coming out this summer, hundred percent. Lovely. Um, and your songs? Would you say they're more like you've got more love songs, more songs uh, regarding uh, you know partying? Um, I'd say it's a mix. I've got a few few love songs there. I've got I've got um yeah, just some other normal lifestyle things, things about Basil and where I'm from. So I think it's just a big mix so I've got I've got a lot of songs at the moment, so where's your place? Like, you know, that you have a lot of artists that some say, Oh, I, I mean I was in the shower and I made a song or I was on driving my car, I was on the bus on the train, walking mm. to the park. Where would you where do you find that you write lyrics more? Wait, or do you have like a relaxing place or is it just like mm, versatile? I don't know, you know, I think with me it's very impulsive. So if I'm on the train and I've thought of something, I will write that down straight away. And it's, what do you do is write it in your, in your phone? I write it in my phone, yeah, mm. or if I'm listening to a beat or whatever. Sometimes it even happens when, um, you know, like you listen to normal music mm -hmm. and they have a, li a little section at the end where they've got a little like, instrumental, okay, where they've yeah, stopped yeah. singing or rapping, mm -hmm. then I'll rap over that and then I'll think, yeah, that, that goes hard. So it's just one of them, really. It's, I'm very, very impulsive, I'd say. So it, it's one of them. If I'm not in the mood to make music, I will not make music. Really? No. Nah. Nice. So yeah. it's one of them, yes. Yeah. It's, it's not like a certain place, I yeah, wouldn't yeah, say, yeah. but yeah. Could be anywhere. Could be anywhere, yeah. Lovely. Guys, I actually forgot to mention that today's show is sponsored by Jewelry, okay? So this amazing lady, she, I contact, contacted her on Instagram, she's on Instagram, she does amazing jewelry, guys, it's really stunning. So, if you'd like to get in contact with her, it's J-U-L-U-R-I-E, jewelry, high quality jewelry, 18 karat gold plated, stainless steel, waterproof, tarnish free, guys. Okay, it's got a contact number on there. I'll just read you briefly about what she does. Do you like jewellery? I like jewellery, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously, yeah. as an artist as well, you're going to have a bit of jewellery. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure she does men's jewellery. She might do. But yes, you know, when she sent me this in the post, got a beautiful leaflet here. Stainless steel is sustainable. Our jewellery products are environmentally friendly because the material we use is 100% recyclable and it's not coated with any toxic material and does not produce toxic runoff. Okay, so it's got a bit about her there. And I'll just show you that actually, Julie. Is, is the camera on? Yes, it's making sure, it's making sure. Lovely packaging there. And you get like a nice little pouch as well. Nice little pouch, can you see that? Look at that, oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, nice little pouch. And here's the bag, nice little gift bag to go with it. All right, but let me show you the actual jewelry now, right? So, again, another nice little pouch. It is like that. And it's a necklace and earrings. And she did ask me, she said, what, what kind of earrings do you like? Do you like big hoops? Do you like, um, you know, like quite elegant earrings? I said, I like everything, but this time I want to go for something that's quite elegant. Look at those guys. Really stunning. I will wear it so you can actually see properly what it looks like later today. So these are the earrings and the necklace. There you go, guys. See that? Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So thank you very much, Jewelry, for sponsoring us. Really, really appreciate it. Guys, go and check her out. J-U-L. 
U R I E. Beautiful jewelry for every occasion. And I noticed she had what's that lovely lady from EastEnders on there? Oh, I've got her name. What's her name? You'll see it anyway when you go on her page. She's got a few lovely models modelling her stuff. So yes, once again, thank you. Yes, yeah, so Titi Marley, we have to, you know, we're going to get some brands going. Yeah, nice, hundred percent. We've got to, you know, contact these brands. Mm. You know. So is there anything you would like to tell me, the viewers and the listeners? about your lovely music, about you as a person, any, any, how about you give us your social media handles as well, please? Yeah, so it's, uh, my Instagram's at TT Marley, um, my YouTube's at TT Marley, my TikTok's at TT Marley One, and everything's on there, anything you can find, all my music, so yeah, I'm going to have a new song soon, this summer, and yeah, just keep tuned, keep locked in, we're trying to put B on the map, so we're there. Definitely. And where did you get your name TT from? What does it stand for? Hmm, I tried to keep that mystery, you know. Oh, okay. It's good to have a bit of mystery. Yeah, it, it, it can mean what you want it to. Is that your actual surname as well, Marley? No, my first name, Marley. Okay. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can just take it how you want it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, TT. Lovely. <laughs> no, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming. No TT has travelled all the way down from Basildon, guys, and it's about an hour or something. Yeah, an hour and a bit. Well, maybe yeah. not so bad now because it's rush hour, but hopefully, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, going down yeah. by now. But yeah, we really appreciate your presence. No, thank, thank you. The studio. Thank you for having me. Um, thank you for your words of wisdom to pe aspiring artists, you know. No and worries. yeah, we really appreciate you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Guys, it's Charlene Francois from Chalk Hill Community Radio. This is the Health, Talent and Fashion Show. Very grateful to have TT Marley here in the studio today. If you have a brand that you'd like us to promote for you, please do feel free to get in touch. Please don't forget to get in touch with TT Marley today, guys, because, yeah, he's amazing. He's going to be doing amazing things. He's already doing amazing things, and you're going to see a lot more of him, okay? So do follow his social media platforms. We will tag it as well and mention it as well. Thank you, everyone. Charlie Francois, look after yourselves, and always remember to look after your barnet. See you later.